Good morning to one and all. Pleasant greetings and warm welcome to SJPUC graduation ceremony 2021. It's not the strongest species that survive, nor the most intelligent, but the most responsive to change. You must welcome change as the rule, but not as your ruler. This graduating batch is unique as it coincides with the Ignatian year, celebrating 500th anniversary of the conversion of St. Ignatius. We all are blessed by his grace and blessings. Let's move along illuminating his radiance in all walks of life. Prayer is a means of sustaining a faith and at times can go weak. The power of prayer is enriching, uplifting to hear our God speak. I now request Mr. Albert Anthony and his team to lead us into an interreligious prayer service. Good morning everyone. Our prayer team feels extremely happy to welcome everyone, especially the incredible student body to this prayer session on hope. Hope is the essence of life. It keeps us stay positive. Hope lies in dreams, in imagination, and in the courage of those who dare to make dreams into reality, says Jonas Sack. Believing good things will happen with faith in a higher power during this time of pandemic, let us hope in God's infinite mercy. Lord, dwell in us and show us how to face the challenge posed by the coronavirus and fill us with joy and peace. In one of his quotes on hope, Abdul Kalam says, Alphabet O stands for opportunity, which is absent in yesterday, available once in today, and thrice in tomorrow. Never lose hope. Dear students, hope is an inspiration to live your life the best way you can. So make your hope strong, as the hopeful cultivate optimism and raise self-esteem. Through this interreligious prayer, may the Almighty bless every one of us with joyful hope. Let's, let's listen to this devotional hymn. The hymn will be followed by the scripture verses.
ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತಾ ಫಲಶ್ರುತಿ ಅಧ್ಯಾಯ ಹದಿನೆಂಟು ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಐವತ್ತಾರು ಮತ್ತು ಐವತ್ತೇಳು ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣನು ಅಂದದ್ದು ನನ್ನನ್ನು ಆಶ್ರಯಿಸಿದವನು ಯಾವಾಗಲೂ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕರ್ಮಗಳನ್ನು ಮಾಡುತ್ತಿದ್ದರೂ ನನ್ನ ಕೃಪೆಯಿಂದ ಶಾಶ್ವತವು ಅವ್ಯಯವು ಆದ ಪದವನ್ನು ಪಡೆಯುವನು ಮನಸ್ಸಿನಿಂದ ಸರ್ವ ಕರ್ಮಗಳನ್ನು ನನಗೆ ಸಮರ್ಪಿಸಿ ನನ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಪರಾಯಣನಾಗಿ ಬುದ್ಧಿಯೋಗವನ್ನು ಆಶ್ರಯಿಸಿ ಯಾವಾಗಲೂ ನನ್ನಲ್ಲಿಯೇ ಚಿತ್ತ ಉಳ್ಳವನಾಗು ಸರ್ವಶಕ್ತ ಭಗವಂತನೇ ನಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರನ್ನೂ ಆಶೀರ್ವದಿಸಿರಿ ನಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಒಳ್ಳೆಯ ಆರೋಗ್ಯ ಆಯಸ್ಸು ಹಾಗೂ ನೆಮ್ಮದಿಯನ್ನು ದಯಪಾಲಿಸಿ ನಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರ ಆದರ್ಶ ಬದುಕಿನ ಮೂಲಕ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಫೂರ್ತಿಯನ್ನು ತುಂಬಿರಿ ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಬ್ಬ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಪ್ರತಿರೂಪವನ್ನು ಗುರುತಿಸಿ ಸನ್ಮಾರ್ಗದಲ್ಲಿ ನಡೆಯುವ ಜ್ಞಾನವನ್ನು ಕರುಣಿಸಿರೆಂದು ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥಿಸುತ್ತೇವೆ ಆಮೇಲೆ Now we have the readings from Holy Quran, Surah 47-35. Or Allah tumhare saath hai, or ve har kis tumhare amal mein tumhe nuksan na denge. Apne aap ko yaad dijiye, Allah aapke saath hai. Vah aap ko dek rahe hai, aap ka parikshan kar rahe hai, kyunki vah aap se pyaar karte hai. Aap ko nahi bhula hai, or aap ko mazboot bana rahe hai. for our students and parents umeed mat chhodna kal ka din aaj se behtar hoga isi bhavnaon ko apne dil mein samaye aaj hum apne chhatra ganon ko ishwar aapke charnon mein samarpit karte hain ki aap isi tarah unka utsah aur protsahan badhate rahe aur unka haath thame unhe isi tarah jeevan ke pragatishil pad par aage badhate hue unka manobal badhaye साथ ही साथ एकता परमेश्वर हम अपने छात्रगणों के अभिभावकों को भी इसी आशा से आपकी छत्र छाया में समर्पित करते हैं कि वह धैर्य को अपने जीवन में अपनाकर अपने बच्चों की काबिलियत पर विश्वास रखते हुए उनका साथ दे उनके आत्मविश्वास को बढ़ाने में अपना महत्वपूर्ण सहयोग प्रदान कर सके रीडिंग फ्रॉम दी होली बाइबल चरमाया Chapter 29 verses 11 to 14 For surely I know the plans I have for you says the Lord plans for your welfare and not for harm to give you a future with hope then when you call upon me and come and pray to me I will hear you when you search for me you will find me if you seek me with all your heart I will let you find me says the lord and i will restore your fortunes and gather you from all the nations and all the places where i have driven you says the lord and i will bring you back to the place from which i sent you into exile this is the word of the lord thanks be to god let us all pray for the world and those affected by the pandemic Hear our prayer O God our protector show your compassion for the whole human family that is in turmoil and burdened with illness and fear Hear our prayer O God heal those who are affected by the pandemic protect their families and friends from being infected Hear our prayer O God make us vigilant attentive and proactive in the eradication of this disease that has caused suffering and death of many Hear our prayer O God strengthen and encourage those in the public health services caregivers doctors and nurses and all those who are committed to care for the sick Hear our prayer O God sustain all those who suffer loss of livelihood grant us your spirit of love give us hope and peace I pray that your mercy and grace will rain down on our life Amen ನಿನ್ನ ಮಾರ್ಗವನ್ನು ಪ್ರಭು ನನಗೆ ತೋರಿಸು ನೀನೊಪ್ಪುವ ಪಥದಲ್ಲಿ ನಾ ನಡೆಯ ಕಲಿಸು ಮುಕ್ತಾಯ ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥನೆ ಸಕಲ ವರಗಳ ಮೂಲವೂ ಆಗಿರುವ ಸರ್ವೇಶ್ವರ 
ಘಟಿಕೋತ್ಸವದ ಈ ದಿನಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ಅನಂತ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳು ಕೋವಿಡ್ ಸಾಂಕ್ರಾಮಿಕ ಕಾಯಿಲೆಯ ವಿಷಮ ಪರಿಸ್ಥಿತಿಯಲ್ಲಿಯೂ ನಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರನ್ನ ಕಾಪಾಡಿ ಮುನ್ನಡೆಸುತ್ತಿರುವುದಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ನಿಮಗೆ ಕೃತಜ್ಞತೆಗಳು ಜ್ಞಾನ ನಿಧಿಯೇ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳೆಲ್ಲರನ್ನು ನಿಮ್ಮ ದಿವ್ಯ ಜ್ಞಾನದಿಂದ ತುಂಬಿರಿ ಮುಂಬರುವ ಪರೀಕ್ಷೆಯನ್ನು ಹಾಗೂ ಜೀವನವೆಂಬ ಪರೀಕ್ಷೆಯನ್ನು ಎದುರಿಸಲು ಶಕ್ತಿ ನೀಡಿರಿ ಸರ್ವಶಕ್ತ ದೇವರೇ ಇವರ ಮುಂದಿನ ಜೀವನದ ಹಾದಿಗೆ ಬೆಳಕಾಗಿದ್ದು ಮಾರ್ಗದರ್ಶಕರಾಗಿರಿ ಎಲ್ಲಾ ವಿಧದ ಆಪತ್ತು ಹಾಗೂ ದುಷ್ಟತನದಿಂದ ಸಂರಕ್ಷಿಸಿರಿ ತಾವು ಕಲಿತ ವಿದ್ಯೆ ಹಾಗೂ ಮೌಲ್ಯಗಳ ಮೂಲಕ ಸಮಾಜದಲ್ಲಿ ಉತ್ತಮ ಪ್ರಜೆಗಳಾಗಿ ಬಾಳುವಂತೆ ಹರಸಿರಿ ದಯಾಸಾಗರ ದೇವರೇ ಇವರ ಬದುಕಿನ ಪ್ರತಿ ಕ್ಷಣಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಇವರೊಂದಿಗಿದ್ದು ಕೈ ಹಿಡಿದು ಮುನ್ನಡೆಸಿರೆಂದು ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥಿಸುತ್ತೇವೆ ಆಮೇ ಐ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ದ ಇಂಟರ್ ರಿಲಿಜಿಯಸ್ ಪ್ರೇಯರ್ ಟೀಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇನ್ ವೋಕಿಂಗ್ ಗಾಡ್ಸ್ ಬ್ಲೆಸಿಂಗ್ ವಿ ಆಲ್ ಆರ್ ಶ್ಯೂರ್ ದಟ್ ಹಿ ರಿಸೈಡ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಎಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿ ಬಾಸ್ಕ್ ಇನ್ ಇಸ್ ಗ್ಲೋರಿ let's acknowledge his presence and seek his guidance by lighting the lamp the light wards off darkness and fills brightness in every corner let hope resonate in the minds and hearts i request mrs nirmala raghunandan head of the department of biology to welcome the gathering and introduce the chief guest of this occasion greetings of the day intelligence plus character that is the goal of true education said martin luther king jr similar to joseph white motto of academic excellence and character formation it is my great pleasure to welcome you all we have gathered here to celebrate and validate the graduation ceremony of batch 2021 on behalf of st joseph's pre university college i extend a very sincere and warm welcome to all present here St Joseph's Pre University College is blessed to be nurtured by a visionary our dear rector reverend father Brian Perara SJ vice president Bangalore Jesuit Educational Society and rector St Joseph's Institutions he has wide administrative experiences in diverse institutions i wholeheartedly extend a warm welcome to you father Reverend Father Roshan David Perara SJ our director he has been instrumental in creating and implementing work integrated learning programs and developmental activities a warm welcome to you father we feel honored to have with us Dr Ushakini our honorable chief guest Dr Ushakini MBBS MD DNB FICP FAMS is a senior consultant pathologist and professor at Department of Pathology St John's National Academy of Health Sciences Bengaluru Doctor is the founder and director of Translational Research Laboratory for Gut Motility Disorders at St John's Medical College the only referral diagnostic center in India a doctor and a pioneer in teacher in pathology associated with teaching for the past 35 years she has guided over 2000 medical and paramedical undergraduate and postgraduate students she has delivered more than 100 guest lectures at national and international conferences and authored several research papers She has more than 140 publications to her credit. She is currently the president of the Pediatric Pathology Association of India and also Karnataka chapter of pathologists and microbiologists. She is on the advisory board as member of the National Academy of Medical Science. 
Dr. Usha Kini is a recipient of several national and international awards and honors. Notable amongst them are Excellence in Teaching Award in 2004, C.V. Raman Young Scientist Award in 2005. She is a recipient of Silver Plate Orations in 2015 and 2019. She has been awarded British Medical Journal South Asia Healthcare Award in 2016. For her extraordinary dedication and unwavering commitment to her profession as a multifaceted doctor and for the inspiring research and for her commendable contribution to the field of medicine in India, she was honored by Lifetime Achievement Award in the year 2020 by Karnataka Women Achievers Awards. Dr. Ushakini is a proud mother of two children and wonderfully balances her profession, career and home and continues to inspire the youth of today. On behalf of St. Joseph's Pre University College, management and staff, a very warm welcome to you, ma'am. Our leader and our mentor at SGPUC is our beloved principal, Mr. C. R. Rajendra. He has been involved in teaching, training and evangelizing campus programs since two decades. We hope that with your energy, enthusiasm and focus on education and learning, our institute achieves greater excellence. Welcome to you, sir. A very warm welcome to our respected Vice Principal, Mrs. Smita Chako, a woman with great ideology, determinism and vision. Thank you for your august presence and guidance, ma'am. I take this opportunity to welcome invitees, all the heads of the departments, teaching and non-teaching staff members and the alumni. I welcome you all to this special occasion. Dear parents, the success achieved by your wards as well the growth of the institute to a global platform would not have come true with, without your immense support and wishes you have been showering on us. Welcome dear parents. Dear students, your presence fills us with the positive aura and that makes SJPUC a dynamic and vibrant place. A warm welcome to you students. Respected Director, Principal, Guest of Honor, Beloved Lecturers, Dear Students and my friends, warm welcome to everyone. Dear Graduating Josephites, today is a momentous day for all of you. This is the day to celebrate two years of hard work and ups and downs in your academic life. A hearty welcome to you, dear Josephites. May your graduation be the beginning of many more wonderful achievements in your life. Congratulations. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, Nirmala Madam, for your warm welcome. Now we witness the most solemn occasion. Handing over the office of the President of Students Council, Satya Narayan, to the Vice President Junior, Blaise Cedric. As we prepare to leave the hallowed halls of this institution, we gather here with earnest acknowledgement of the enormous debt that we owe this institution for fashioning us into thinking individuals. To all of us who have partaken of these cherished values of this institution, St. Joseph represents the action in which our visions are grounded. We are thankful to the compass of the Josephite tradition for giving education and the impress of the surrounding world. We are also in deep appreciation for the concern of the teachers who have rendered their indomitable spirit the driving aspirations for the time familiar and retainable to us. In return for your enthusiastic efforts, and dedication, we promise that all our future efforts shall be marked with strong faith and toil. As inheritors of this rich tradition, we believe success 
shall attend our every effort. We are indeed proud to have been a part of this culture that engenders amongst its members a desire for excellence. We wish our juniors good luck and success as they prepare to carry the responsibility of keeping alive the tradition and culture of excellence. As we gather here today to bid you all farewell, we could not be overwhelmed by the unsifting support that you as our seniors have lent us. As compatriots of the tradition of faith and toil, it shall be our earnest effort to preserve and promote the spirit of fellowship and camaraderie, the values that characterized our relations with each other. Even as we bask in the glory that you as our seniors have accomplished, for this institution, we aspire to surpass that glory in ways that would be a tribute to the inspiration you have been to us. To you, our companions in excellence, we wish you success in all your future endeavors, which shall be an abiding concern in our association with our juniors and honorary role as upholders of this legacy, which you have so eminently fulfilled. Thank you, Satya and Blaze, our young leaders, and wishing you the best in the future. Success is not the destination that we reach. Success is the quality of our journey. Our greatest hope would become reality in the future if our efforts are recognized. With this, the possibilities are unbounded. All we need to do is appreciate and encourage their own minds. As most achievers are people who have made a strong and deep dedication to pursue a particular goal. St. Joseph's PU College recognizes the dedication by awarding the students with the best outgoing student. The best outgoing student award is decided on the criteria based on academics, attendance and extracurricular activities. The best outgoing student from the humanities stream is awarded to Tarun S of 2Q. Tarun, with his academic achievements, has set the bar really high. He has stopped the humanities stream for the first PUC final examination for the year 2019-2020. He has backed both general proficiency and subject proficiency for securing the highest marks in sociology and history. He is meticulous and hardworking, having the diverse talent of dramatics and a prophetic speaker. Let us now listen to Tarun. The most worthwhile thing is to try to put happiness into the lives of others. Great words of Lord Baden Powell. My warm greeting to the distinguished dignitaries for the day, the teaching and non-teaching staffs, and my fellow Josephite. My dear friends, everything feels as if it had happened yesterday. So soon, I am on the last day of our college. My two years in SJPUC, was no less than a roller coaster ride, filled with thrill and joy, ups and downs. I still remember my very first orientation class. After studying for 12 long years in the same school, for the first time, I had stepped into the portals of SJPUC. It was a new atmosphere for me. In the beginning, I was scared. I was afraid. I was almost a borderline intro. But thanks to our friendly teacher and the opportunities that the college gave me, it made me eligible to address this august gathering today. This esteemed institution taught me the value of an opportunity, the value of time, the art of doing the assigned work diligently. And moreover, it taught me that true talent should always have its own respect. No matter how many hurdles and obstacles, one may have to face in his way. They made me a responsible human being by imparting the knowledge of the five C's of Jesuit education, character, 
conscious competent compassion and commitment the three fold codes academic excellence character formation and social concern dear friends irrespective of the stream i opted for i received the same amount of love support and encouragement from all the departments the affection and guidance they gave me is momentary and before i could graduate as a joseph art i would like to thank all the individuals all the departments who stood by me i would like to thank them for the constant support guidance and encouragement they gave me without their backing tarun wouldn't have achieved what he has achieved today the intellectual aid from the library and the moral support from the counselors of the sadhana team did play a vital role in making me a complete individual each one present here today is a stakeholder of my success it is really unbelievable to know that this wonderful journey has come to an end today i thank you all from the bottom of my heart for everything that you all have done for me dear friends i would like to end my words by saying that treat every single opportunity you get in your life as your first and last opportunity never miss an opportunity if there is no opportunity create your own opportunity the world out is awaiting your name all the best for all your endeavors have a great future ahead thank you jai best wishes to you tarun may you scale greater heights in all your endeavors now i present to you the best outgoing student from the science stream 2021 ncc cadet state level taekwondo champion keyboard player recipient of international award for young people in the year 2019 graphic video designer skillful player talented and dynamic leader budding star a proud josephite presenting to you pranav vishwanathan of class 2c a very pleasant day to our honorable chief guest and our director reverend father roshan pereira st principal mr c r rajendra vice principal ms smita cha Campus Minister Reverend Father Wilson Kishore Banas SD teachers and not teaching staff and my fellow Josephites I'm Prana Vishwana from 2C I consider it an honor to be selected as the best outgoing student from the science stream for the academic year 2020-21 I deem it my pleasure to be able to share my wonderful journey in SJPUC My experience at SJPUC has been wonderful and I consider myself lucky to have been part of this prestigious institution. SJPUC has helped me inculcate qualities like discipline, leadership, punctuality, patience, communication, to name a few. When I walked into SJPUC, I was just any other normal student, but it was the spirit of Mars which has helped me strive for perfection. The management and staff of SJPUC not only emphasize on our academics but also on character formation. The academic year 2021 has definitely been very challenging. I would like to extend my gratitude to all my teachers for responding to the need of the hour and have thus successfully conducted online classes. Our teachers prepared attractive and simplified content based slides of all the lessons so that we could understand the subject better not only did we have online classes co curricular activities were conducted online including our most awaited fest equinox i definitely missed coming to college and meeting my teachers and friends i'll miss the ncc parades that we had every saturday the the canteen food and the fun we had during the ncc camp All the cadets are like my brothers and these memories will always be cherished. MCC taught us about unity and discipline. It would be incomplete if I don't thank my parents for the unconditional love and support that they have extended to me. I would like to thank our former principal, Reverend Father Melvin Lobo, as the former vice principal, Ms. Renuka Zakaria, campus minister, Reverend Father Wilson Kishore Banas, as the Our director, 
principal, vice principal, teachers, non-teaching staff, SJPUC, NCC caretaking officers, cadets, and my fellow Josephites for making these two years the most memorable time of my life. This is to all the Josephites. I hope your dreams take you to the corners of your smiles, the highest of your hopes, to the windows of opportunities, and the most special place your heart has ever known. This is Prana Vishwanath bidding goodbye. Thank you, Prana. You are truly worthy of this award. William D'Souza of Tunche has backed the Best Outgoing Student Award for the Commerce Stream. A well disciplined student who is a peak performer in academics with the ability to balance academics and co curricular activities. Vivian is a member of the music club and has performed and won many competitions. He has also emceed in a number of events hosted by the college. It's time that we hear from him. College. A journey from a simple hello to the toughest goodbye. A very pleasant day to all, Honorable Chief Guest, the Director, Reverend Father Roshan Pereira SJ, Principal, Mr. C. R. Rajendra, Vice Principal, Ms. Smita Chako, Campus Minister, Reverend Father Wilson Benes SJ, members of the staff, and my fellow Josephites. I, Vivian De Souza from Class 2J, indeed consider it my privilege to have been selected as the best outgoing student from the Commerce Stream. On this special occasion, I extend my heartfelt gratitude to my dear parents for always being there for me and guiding me in the right path. My heartfelt thanks to our director, Reverend Father Roshan Pereira SJ, for his effective leadership. Our principal, Mr. C. R. Rajendra, and vice principal, Ms. Smita Chako for the opportunity to be the best outgoing student and the campus minister, Reverend Father Wilson Benes SJ for his guidance and support. I owe my special gratitude to our former principal, Reverend Father Melville Lobo SJ and former vice principal, Ms. Renuka Zakaria for their dedication and commitment and the management for this great opportunity given to me to be a part of this great institution. I also sincerely thank all my wonderful teachers for their faith in me, for encouraging and supporting me always. If not for them, I wouldn't have achieved what I have achieved today. Last, but surely not the least, I thank all my amazing friends for the beautiful time spent together in SJPUC. I still remember my first day in the college when I entered the campus with a bag of mixed feelings of excitement, nervousness, confusion, and uncertainty about what's in store for me. Since then, there have been countless memories that are so very precious and invaluable to me. And if I had to name a few, it would be the fun time spent with my friends from the choir, enjoying the samosas during the short break, and emceeing for Equinox 2021, which was an immense learning experience for me. Without any hesitation, I can surely say that these two years of my life in SJBUC are probably the best I've ever had or will ever have. Joseph's is not just an institution, but it's a home, a family, and an emotion for all the Josephites. The experience and knowledge that we gain here is just priceless. I'm sure all my friends would agree to the fact that we all would have loved to have an offline graduation day. But the situation is such that it's good that we are having it online. Nevertheless, this academic year has definitely been a unique one for all of us. I especially got to learn a lot of new things, be it the online classes, fests, competitions, and even online tests. All in all, an unforgettable year for everyone. Without a doubt, I'm certainly gonna miss this wonderful place and everything about it. I'd like to conclude my speech with a quote. A memory lasts forever, never does it die. True friends always stay together and never say goodbye. Though we may have finished our course here, we will always be a part of SJPUC, just like how 
SDPUC will always be a part of us. Thank you all once again. Stay blessed and stay safe. Congratulations, Vivian De Souza. SJPUC family wishes you all the very best. God bless you. Now I invite SJPUC music team to proffer their love to the graduating batch. It's been a long day without you, my friend. I'm gonna tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you.
ಎಲ್ಲೋ ಬೆಳೆದು ಸೇರಿಕೊಂಡು ನಮ್ಮ ದಾರಿ ಬದುಕು ಎಷ್ಟೋ ಚಂದವೆಂದು ಸಾರುತಿಹುದು ಸಾರಿ ಸಾರಿ ನೀವು ನೀವು ಅಂತ ಶುರುವಾಯಿತು ಮೋದರ ತೋಲೋ ಅಂತ ಈಗ ಬದಲು ನಮ್ಮ ನಡುವೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಕೊಂಚ ಸಂಕೋಚ ಕೈಯ ಹಿಡಿದು ಹೆಚ್ಚ ಬೆಸೆದು ಮುಂದೆ ಮುಂದೆ ನಡೆವೆ ಎಂದು performance by the music club which will be remembered by all of us for a very long time Dr Usha Kidney is a distinguished chief guest for today it it is a honor to hear from her and her wide experience over to you ma'am dear students the proud graduating batch of second p of st joseph's pu college a very good it's a beautiful day and a very memorable one for you as you graduate from St Joseph's one of the best institutions in the town with joy and thanksgiving to pursue your dreams my hearty congratulations to you my special thanks to all the dignitaries gracing this occasion reverend father brian perera sj the rector Reverend Father Roshan Pereira SJ the director Mr C R Rajendra the principal Ms Smita Chako the vice principal Ms Anita Montero all the faculty staff and everyone associated with this event Thank you for this opportunity to address the graduating students on this occasion I like to keep my message short and explain it in the form of a story for which I will share my screen. Just like you and your classmates, here is a story of two best friends, Smith and John, on their graduation day. So Smith and John make a pact. And Smith says, "John, Let's meet 10 years from now same day and see how successful you've become. And they both agree and decide to keep a journal each to define what they see as success in John's life. And here goes the first note from Smith. A few months down the line, here's a picture of John on his graduation day. but he writes he is successful my best friend john gets the second rank in the second pc exam a few more years down the line there's another di- uh, note in the diary he says he is successful my best friend john gets his first job in a big company and so on smith goes to define every milestone success that he sees in john's life third note he is successful my best friend john buys a classy car with his first salary and 
when it's nearly 10 years the journal is almost full and here comes the last note he is successful my best friend john is rich he has enough money to buy whatever he can dream i'm lucky to have such a rich friend 10 years have gone by and they both are back at their favorite cafe right outside college and here here smith and john enjoying themselves and meeting each other after 10 long years and smith says john look at this journal i think you are the most successful person a car a great job so much money you're indeed a superstar in contrast john says hi smith these pictures are great let's look at my journal now while smith called out success as john getting a second rank in the puc exam john journals differently and says that's indeed a great thing but when i look back 10 years ago the most memorable moment for all the sleepless nights that i spent with my friend ben helping him with physics i am glad that he could finally pass his puc exam and he says thank you god while smith puts this nice picture of john in all smiles john writes in his diary a very different note he is happy at his work desk but he writes thank you god for giving me the strength to pursue my passion physics and say no to engineering which was everyone's suggestion thank you god for walking with me as i start my job today as a physics researcher a third note john in front of his car which smith defines as success and john has a very different picture he's not alone with his car and you don't see him smiling and john goes on to journal lord i thank you for all the people i could help by using my car there's maria in the picture when i helped her move into a new home aunt lena who he- who needed help with grocery shopping and uncle swami who had to be rushed to the hospital the other day and so so many more memories and finally the last note smith had defined john's success as having a lot of money a great job and a car and here's john having again a contrasting picture john's helping somebody in need let's see what his note reads thank you god for giving me enough money for myself and to share with the poor the old and those who needed help thank you for all the blessings so my dear friends we have seen both the versions of the journal so what is your definition of success it is a million dollar question do you align yourself with smith or with john a tough choice to make but something that will define who you will turn out to be smith connected success to materialistic things which will go no further than the grave in contrast john had his goals was passionate and focused on being of value to the society and success just followed him so here is a verse that can guide us in making the right choice at each step for what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul this verse 26 from matthew chapter 16 so my dear graduating students i wish you all the best for a bright and happy future and let the good luck follow you wherever you go and whatever you do so hearty congratulations once again and thank you from my end thank you ma'am your words have ignited a spark in each one of us we place our heartfelt gratitude 
and wish you enjoy memorable days with abundant richness in health and grace thank you once again sjpuc is now led by a visionary leader passionate at any given task academician strict disciplinarian who thrives for success and delivers it inviting mr c r rajendra principal of st joseph pre university college to address us respected chief guest dr usha khini reverend father brian pereira sj rector st joseph's institution reverend father roshan david pereira sj director st joseph's pre university college dear members of staff parents and my dearest graduating students of the academic year 2020-2021 good evening to you hearty congratulations you are part of history now you are the first batch who had online classes you are the first one with 100% pass percentage you are the first one who have an online graduation program congratulations today is a milestone it tells you how far you have come and how far you may have to go boys remember that the hard work has just begun as you step out of the secured privileged caring portals of st joseph spirinsty college and enter the institution of life where there is no syllabus but will have enough tests and exams probably every moment and every day i as your teacher and your principal will assure you that whatever you have learned in our campus so far will prepare you to face it graduation day also marks a beginning so do not stop learning do not stop thinking do not stop serving do not stop exploring do not stop questioning do not stop smiling do dream because it said the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams i am and we at st joseph's are all sure that the co-curricular and extracurricular activities you participated will help you face all the challenges offered in life in the university of life it will definitely help you analyze help you find solutions to almost every problem every question be assured of that as part of our outreach programs we have trained you to be empathetic we are sure your heart beats will resonate with that of the poor the underprivileged sections of our society at all points of time be a person of compassion be a person of concern be committed be caring be a person full of life inspire others boys you are aware honesty is the best policy be honest in life do not be afraid of failures because failures will always open up lot of opportunities it will lead you to success my dear students believe in god respect your parents respect all your elders accompany your friends guide and lead your fellow human beings take care of mother earth our common home be a patriot respect women be sensitive be our ambassadors be a true josephite on behalf of the sjpuc family i bid a farewell to you i wish and pray that god be with you in all your future endeavors the college motto faith and toil it is with this motto that each one of us have served believing in the hard work believing in toil believing in faith faith in god faith in ourselves we have served you now it's your turn to serve the society after all we want to empower youth for and to be with others i thank the rector the director for their constant support i also offer my heartfelt thanks to father melvin lobo sj the former principal of st joseph's pu college for all his services rendered may the ignatian spirit guide us all thank you caps off to you dear graduating students thank you rajendra sir 
your words are truly encouraging a pledge is a solemn promise or an agreement to always walk on the right path at st joseph's we take pride in inculcating value based education in our students i call upon father roshan pereira sj our administrator to administer the pledge on the outgoing students which is a reminder that a life of values is much appreciated dear students as we take the pledge i request you to place your right hand to the chest and repeat after me as a student of st joseph's pre university college i do solemnly pledge before god and in the presence of this assembly to uphold the high ideals and aims of our institution i promise my undivided loyalty to do my duties willingly and faithfully to god and to my country i will abstain from whatever is wrong i shall explore and take into account the social and environmental consequences of any task i undertake i will strive to fulfill conscientiously all my duties and obligations as a good citizen in creating a just society i promise to be trustworthy honest and conduct myself as a true and loyal josephite i will think beyond myself to the needs of others and especially the vulnerable sections of our society i know that doing the right thing is not always easy but i will try because making ethical decisions is more important to me let us now pause lift up our hearts place ourselves in his hands and seek his blessings rendered by our rector reverend father brian pereira sj let us rise close our eyes and pray for god's blessings gracious and loving god you are the source of all wisdom and knowledge today we ask for your blessings on these your children as they graduate from here to face new challenges in this changing world bless them that they may repose their faith in you alone the giver and author of life bless them that they may treat all human beings as members of one human family bless them that they may trust in their inner potential and capabilities and blossom to their fullest and thus contribute to the well-being of society bless them that they may toil towards the creation of a just and equal society bless them that they may always uphold the freedom of thought and expression and freedom of belief and worship bless them that they may promote equality and fraternity with those they live and work bless them that they may work for the protection of environment and sustainable development bless them that they may fight against all corruption and greed bless them that they may work with a sense of integrity and transparency and always act according to their conscience bless them that they may always be true to the motto faith and toil this we ask of you lord god who is the giver of all good gifts amen thank you father for blessing the graduating batch as they venture into unknown territories and take up innumerable challenges these blessings will go a long way I would like to call upon Miss Vivian Jennifer, Department of English, to deliver the oath of thanks. Gratitude for the present moment and the fullness of life now is true prosperity. Eckhart Tolle. I deem it a great honor and privilege to propose the oath of thanks on this memorable occasion on behalf of the SJ Pusey family. 
Let me start by giving glory to God for his guidance and protection throughout the year and for making today's occasion a resounding success. I would like to express my gratitude to our chief guest of the day, Dr. Usha Kinney, who despite her busy schedule has found time to grace this occasion and share her valuable insights with us. You truly are an inspiration, ma'am. We are grateful to our rector, Reverend Father Brian Pereira SJ for his constant guidance and support. I would like to extend my heartfelt appreciation for the leadership team of the academic year 2020-21. our former principal reverend father melvin lobo sj for his guardianship our former vice principal mrs renuka zakaria for her committed service and former campus minister reverend father wilson kishor benes for his generous support let me express my profound gratitude to the director reverend father roshan pereira sj for his able guidance principal mr c r rajendra for his dedicated leadership and vice principal mrs smita chakko for the meticulous planning of today's program my heart felt thanks to the organizing committee for their valuable contribution we are fortunate to have an excellent technical committee who have worked hard to ensure that today's occasion becomes a memorable success my sincere thanks to all my colleagues for their encouragement thank you dear parents for your wholehearted support and last but not the least I thank all the students for your participation and cooperation. I wish you a very happy graduation day and invoke God's choicest blessings on your future. Thank you one and all. Have a blessed day. Thank you Mrs. Vivian Jennifer. Dear students, you all have witnessed an year of trespassing change which has exposed each one of you to experience experiment and explore limitless challenges move ahead in confidence live by the josephite values may you all taste the fruit of success in all your ventures god is gracious he supplies your needs sjpc family bestows showers of blessing on each one of you thank you there are two ways for spreading light to be a candle or the mirror that reflects it as these graduating students set forth their steps into the world outside let the light of the candle light up their path and they can become beacons that light up the path and others as well now we shall witness the candlelight ceremony mr c r rajendra will pass on the light to the members of the students council and this light will be passed on to the students of the graduating batch dear students may this light drive away ignorance and usher in prosperity in all your lives with all my best wishes wishes from the sjpuc family i pass on this candle to you